guys, it's Cry the Bubble Lush. So Hannah and I are in the car. We just got to uh, Target and Michael's. We're gonna run some errands. And one of those errands is to get some scrapbook paper from Michael's for our Mother's Day cards. Um, I've been getting a lot of comments on my card making tutorial video, which I will link uh, right there. Um, you know, like, are you gonna make any more of these videos? And I am. You are watching one right now. I'm going to make my Mother's Day cards. <laughs> so um, I'm thinking of doing a yellow and gray and white theme for my Mother's Day cards just because that's a really like bright and fresh and popular color scheme right now. But uh, we'll see what they have when we get in there. Right now their sale is five for a dollar for their 12 by 12 paper, which is great. That's usually when I stock up on my cardboard. Cardboard, no, cardstock. Yes. So let's go into Michael's. Hopefully they don't yell at me for filming in there. Happy. Happy. There's my girl. You ready to go shopping? Happy. Shopping. Happy. Let's go. Hannah, which one do you like? All right, let's get to looking. Oh, don't touch, don't touch. I like that. Yeah, I like this. Okay guys, so I am now at my kitchen counter and I wanted to show you the progress that I'm making. So this is what I think the layout of the card is going to look like. This is just a rough, um, this is not actually stamped on the paper. What I do is I picked which stamp I thought I wanted to use, which says you touch so many lives. Um, and then, let's see, I just grab a scrap piece of white paper and I wanted to test my yellow, my yellowish ink. It is um, stamping up crushed curry. And so I just tested it out on a scrap piece of white paper to make sure that it popped enough. And as you can see, it's definitely readable. I think it'll work great and it, it matches perfectly. It worked out so well. Um, so that's what I usually do to test out my stamps and then also to measure how high I needed this white strip. Um, but let's talk about the yellow base paper first. So I took my 12 by 12 paper over to my bypass trimmer and let me uh, let me set you on the tripod and walk you through this. All right, so I take my 12 by 12 paper and the first thing I do is I cut off a one inch strip. We're going to make our cards four by five and a half. Um, that way they will fit in the, uh, I think it's A4 envelopes, what, whatever it is that you know handmade cards go into. So we cut off a one inch strip and so now we have an 11 by 12 inch piece of paper and we're gonna cut it in half at five and a half. So you just take it to five and a half. Measure, make sure you're lined up at the top and the bottom and cut it. If you haven't invested yet in a bypass trimmer and you're gonna be making cards, definitely do. Use your 40% off coupon. Um, this week, Michaels has 40% off plus an extra 10% off. I'm not sure if their Fisker trimmers are on sale, but if they're not, this week would be a perfect time to get your own. Um, you will use it again and again with scrapbooking, with card making, with um, kids crafts. It is a great thing to have. So now you've got two strips that are 12 by five and a half. You, stay down. Okay, and what we're going to do later, we're going to cut this in thirds at four inches and eight inches. So over here, take you off. 
This is actually three cards that I've laid out because I'm just going to cut here and here and I'll have glued everything down and in two quick cuts I'll have made three cards. It's awesome. So remember we picked out um, four papers. I guess we picked out our base paper which is the yellow and then we picked out three pattern papers. We got a gray polka dot, a yellow polka dot, and this really great flower pattern that I'm loving. I have the white paper at home. I am using, where are you? There we go. Uh, my white textured cardstock. I'm not super excited that I'm using textured cardstock. The only reason why I am using it is when I flip it over, it's relatively flat. Keep in mind when you are stamping on paper, you want it as smooth as possible. And for some reason, I can't find my smooth white 12 by 12 paper, which is really annoying. I might just have to go and buy more. <laughs> it's something that you just kind of have to have when you're stamping. But the back side is pretty smooth, so we'll be okay. All right, first thing you're gonna do is with your um, gray and your yellow, you can stack them on top of each other and cut strips that are about eh, half an inch, three fourths of an inch, somewhere in there, like two thirds of an inch. It's, it's just a rough thing, not that big of a deal. This flower strip I cut um, an inch, I cut an inch, and then this white strip um, I cut as tall as my stamp, a little taller, so I cut it at two and a half. Of course, if your stamp is much smaller or much bigger, these measurements are going to be skewed, but I think this um, ratio looks really good. You've got a little bit of yellow peeking out front and back. One thing to mention, these are going to be flat cards, not folded cards. I'm just going to flip them over and write my little note on the back of them. This way I can get six cards per 12 by 12 sheet of paper. So I got um, four sheets of the yellow, so I'm gonna be making 24, up to 24 cards. I'll have to figure out how many moms I have. Oh, and then the last little flower touch you see, um, since there are 48 in the package, remember I bought these, there are 48 in the package, um, each card gets two. And I think it looks really cute, it'll be super easy, um, and then you just wanna make sure what adhesive you're gonna use. I've got some Zots for the flowers because they're three-dimensional and they need something extra sticky. And these are perfect with little round shapes. And then um, to glue my strips down, I've got my little tape runner. Hopefully that doesn't run out. If it does, I've got some liquid glue. All right, so I'm gonna start assembling this. Uh, I need to cut more strips and uh, I'll let you know once I have everything glued down. So Hannah finished taking uh, her little snack time and now she's watching some Sesame Street while I finish these up. So I've got all eight of them done. They didn't take very long at all because it's just gluing. You could do it while watching TV, honestly. And now I brought the bypass trimmer back over. And so we just want to remember this is 12 inches long and we want to cut it in thirds. So we're going to cut it at um, eight inches and four inches. So that's what the card is going to look like. Then I'm going to bring over my stamping supplies. I've got my crushed curry ink. Obviously you would just use whatever ink matched uh, your paper and everything. This comes with this set of um, stamps. It's like a little cellulose sheet and you put it underneath the paper and that way when you stamp, it has some padding and I guess it's supposed to make it stamp better. So I have to figure out if I want to center it, which I think I am. I think I'm going to center it because I'm going to put the two flowers. And there you go. So then what we'll do is I'll just turn it over, I'll write my little note, and I'll 
send it off in the envelope. See, that's not so hard, it's not so expensive. Um, once I'm done with this, I'll do a cost breakdown per card and show you how expensive it is to send cards.